Okay, where's 45? Drake, so is, is this the official end of Air Drake after, <laughs> after that play? Uh, I mean, I mean, I sure hope so. Um, you know, I think I think I may have cleared I may have cleared the first one, but I think the second guy got me. Um, you know, I just sometimes you know being six five, you get tired of people going low on you. You know, it hurts, hurts the shins and stuff, get your ankles rolled up. But um, you know, that close to the goal line, you know, I I didn't think I could actually make it, but um, you know, I think just gotta be smarter. But uh, you know, I've got the wind knocked out of me. Um, you know, I, I hope I didn't look like I was overreacting. It's just it's, it's hard when you can't breathe. I think. Um, you know, a lot of people probably think I'm, you know, it's kind of milking it. But, uh, you know, that feeling you can't breathe, it's pretty bad. But, um, no, I'm glad to be able to get back out there. And um, so overall, you know, that's, I think, you know, both sides of the ball is how we play, um, how we play football. So is that an instinct that you have to fight? Or I, I know that when you're playing like that, you're not going to process all that stuff. Yeah. How do you, how do you work that through? You know, it's funny on the sideline, um, you know, we had a QB draw, like one of me, a driver two before. I was telling Connor Harrell, I said, they're going low on me. I'm going to hurdle the next guy. And um, you know, I don't think that was the right place and time for me when I did it. But, um, you know, it's just, it's just instinct, like you said. You know, just when you tell yourself you do it, you know, in your thoughts, it's just, you know, it's split second. So, just got to stay off the way. Is your neck sore at all? Because the way you came down, it really looked like it's something you're happy or your back. Uh, I mean, my neck's, my neck's usually pretty sore after every game. So, um, yeah, the line, how about them tonight? Um, played their butts off. Um, Protected me, I you know all the time in the world. Even in the Virginia Tech, they brought pressure. You know, that's one of the things we knew they were coming in to do. Uh, kind of heat me up and uh, left a lot of space out there. But no, my next all right. Yeah, it's fine. Not something wrong, but what did Chris Longo or Chris Brown say anything to you about sliding or, or not jumping anymore? Yeah, they were all just. That's the first thing Coach Brown said to me when I got up and you know came off the field. Just you know stop doing that and um, you know it's just not smart for the football team. And uh, gonna probably I mean can end up getting hurt pretty bad. So it's just. We just got to fight the instinct. So it seems like you're going to tight ends a lot, especially today. I mean, you hit all three of them, two for touchdowns. What's working with you between uh, pass and tight ends? Yeah, um, you know, like I keep saying, you know, they 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 got three, we got three good ones in the, in the tight end room, and uh, they all do different things well. And uh, I think the thing about Bryson is he can kind of split them out like in the slot. You know, we had a few option routes for him today, and. Uh, you know, we can exploit them. And then, um, you know, with the ball in their hands, they all, they're all break tackles, uh, as you saw today. And, uh, you know, they're special. So, you know, glad we got them. They can all block and uh, catch the ball. So, uh, I mean, it hasn't been an emphasis, but I think just, you know, tight end in any uh, football, you know, offense. Um, you know, you use them tight end, it's, it's hard to defend. So. Jake, you guys hadn't had a lot of success in that two-minute offense at the end of the half. What clicked today that was um, yeah, just kind of seeing their coverage scheme. Um, you know, you know, studied it all week in two minutes, what they did. Um, they're going to cover two, and we had a, like a little four verts concept behind it. So, uh, you know, started off with Bryson, and then uh, you know, got out on draw, um, got out of bounds, and uh, we practiced. You know, two minute every day. That's the emphasis. Um, you know, I think we actually we were actually pretty good in two minute uh, against App at that last time. So, you know, I feel confident in the guys and up front. And we're gonna protect, and they'll usually drop. You know, soft um, in two minutes. So just gotta find find the holes and uh, just try to get in field goal range. I'm sure you had high expectations for yourself, but have you exceeded those a little bit here in the early going? I mean, I think 19 touchdowns, one one pick. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, that pick still haunts me. Um, this is just a bad throw, but uh, you know, I'm just you know, you know, like like I said, just pretty confident in myself, uh, knowing my ability, and uh, still got a lot of plays out there that I wish I had back. Um, I think we had two touchdowns, deep balls that I missed, so. You know, a lot of areas to improve on, um, but, you know, can't complain with the win, so. You said earlier in the week that you wanted the offense to sustain some drives a little bit to give the defense a little bit of rest, that you guys hadn't been doing that too much. They'll take the big play, the one play, big play touchdowns, but to show that you can sustain stuff, you had 11 play scoring drive and 12 play scoring drive back to back. Defense got quick stops on their side. Is that the perfect complimentary football that you guys need to play? The offense helping the defense in that respect? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. You know, the defense, how about them tonight? Um, you know, bounce back game for both sides of the ball, I thought. Um, you know, starting with, uh, you know, I think we had, I don't know if it was a three and out, maybe a three and out in the first uh, first possession. Um, they came down, they got had a big play, held them to a field goal, that was huge. And I think, you know, after that first touchdown, I think it was rolling from there. So, uh, you know, defense, um, I, you know, I, I face them every day in practice. They got players, um, they make plays, they make it harder for me in practice. So I think, you know, we're giving each other um, what we need and uh, should I keep getting better? Um, but at the end of the day, uh, 
you know, the defense kind of work, like you said, you know, working, working off each other. Uh, it's the best brand of football, you know, for any team. And I think we put that on display tonight, and, and it feels good. It's fun out there when, when that happens. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Kobe's my roommate, so, you know, I'll give him a little <coughs> um, talk tonight. But, you know, he's, you know, in practice, you know, we ran that probably, you know, five to ten times, and he put it right on the money every time. So I maybe could have helped him with the initial pass um, out there, but uh, they all said it was wide open. But, you know, that's a trick play, and it's, it's part of a trick play to take the chance. And, uh, you know, he hadn't warmed up at all, probably. So um, it's a tough spot, you know, probably he'll be down on himself, but he's, you know, he's a good player. He'll shake it off. He's What's the play there? Is that for him to pass back to you always, or is he an option to run or throw? Yeah, just yeah, just throw it back to me. We got the all linemen um, in front of me down the field. Um, so basically, be actually counts reception for me. And uh, I think they said it was it looked wide open. So I probably would have had I had a nice jog in the end zone. But that's why you do them. And uh, you know, you can only do them once sometimes because they'll see the formation. But we'll find another way. So. Is something different from the defense this week in practice? They're attributing some of Oh yeah, you know they always bring that energy um, every day. I think you know the main thing I'm kind of noticing is you know stuff stuff's clicking for them. Um, you know we're five games in in practice. You know they're not leaving guys um, you know wide open and, and, and covered stuff for the communication. I think there's stuff that they're starting to gel and uh, you know getting that getting that communication in because defense is all about communication. You got no idea what the offense is going to do each play, so it's just communication and trusting you guys, trusting your guys. And I think all 11, um, you know, uh, um, we're in the right spot tonight and, uh, you know, helped us out a lot. So. The way it's going on fourth down, I mean, is it almost becoming addictive to want to go for it and keep going for it? I mean, you guys, the success rate's really, 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 mm -hmm. really high. You no, know, I think that's credit Coach Brown. You know, trusting us as I told him after, um, you know, the fourth down to Josh, and you know, the, Josh made a heck of a play. But I said, you know, I told Coach Brown, thanks for trusting us, and uh, I think he ended up paying off. And uh, you know, credit Coach Brown for you know wanting to go for it. Um, I think he tells Longo, uh, kind of, you know, what what scenarios he has four downs, and uh, I think it helps me on the play. You know, get get half of it or so. So, I think fourth downs, you know, huge advantage. Did y'all figure anything out at running back today? Obviously, Caleb got the start. I don't know if it's Kind of surprise for some people like, yeah. you know, more than been starting. I mean, did you figure anything out there? Or? Um, you know, I thought they all ran hard and I, I think they were putting in you know, a tough spot this week. The coaches were on just, you know, just finding guys. Um, you know, the two guys who are in there do their do their job. But uh, you know, I think kind of, you know, working as a system, um, I think that'll help because just like tight ends, they all bring their, their different aspect and uh you know we'll find something out. Um you know, Vitek kind of pressured the box, so it's kind of tough to run the ball. I think that's why we were kind of exploiting them through the pass. So, uh, you know, we'll find what we're going to need the running game, you know, obviously. So, uh, we'll figure something out. But I thought, you know, when they got the chance, they all, they all ran hard, caught the ball. I think I missed Caleb on the first drive. Um, just bad throw, so. And I just wanted to ask something. Um, at the beginning of this press conference, Matt Brown said something about you guys had to create your own energy coming into this game. What does that mean to you as one of the leaders on this team? Yeah, um, you know, getting on the sideline, pumping my guys up. Uh, I think uh, we're kind of expecting not a big crowd, you know, with the hurricane. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, obviously, in, in my opinion, kind of disappointing last week. Um, but, you know, I thought they, they showed out and through the rain, students, you know, everybody. So uh, I thought the crowd was into it and, uh, you know, just kind of feed off each other and uh, be, be our own personal hype man. And just want to follow up really quick just how you think um, Green and Downs both being back again in this game from injury, how that kind of sparked energy. Oh yeah, you know, two two, two um, phenomenal players. Uh, they make my job easy. Um, you know, I think AG if, uh, threw him a low ball, um, one of the you know the first verticals. Uh, I think he catches that. He maybe scores. I put it in his chest, and you know, Josh with the ball in his hands, um, going up to get passes. He just he just has a knack for getting open, and um, just need to find ways to get them the ball because when they got the ball in their hands, it's good for our team. So, All right, thanks.